Uh, the main point, of course, is Beatles, Sex Pistols and Football Hooligans. And that's why we picked London. And why did you decide England? Um, I don't know. We dreamed about England from the very beginning. Uh, we thought that uh, it was uh, the motherland of uh, yellow submarines, Sex Pistols and many other good things. Uh, but the things I saw in England uh, were different. Yes, it is a true story about two pieces of Moscow scum. When I first heard about this story, I just thought, oh, God, make a great film with these two little thugs who thought they were really hard gangsters. You know, they'll come to London, they'll rip it off. I mean, they are much more babes in the wood. So how long would you reckon to dress this bit? I'm giving it four hours. Okay. So you've just walked up and said how long it is. Yeah. An hour or two to load up, an hour or two to dress. The film tells the story of these two self-confessed pieces of Moscow scum and they come to London to rip it off and write a guide, but of course, you know, nothing really goes according to plan. What? In this country, money can buy you anything. Even bloody night food. You just have to have the cash. I'll teach you how to make money. We didn't ask for 10,000 immigrants to be put here. The DP was Ben Molden. He came from a background of very high-end, award-winning promos, and ED was phenomenally patient. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you've got a brilliant DP with a strong team, it was very quick behind them. Then, you know, you you know the film. If you know the film's going to look good, I mean, he was very ambitious. I think he always went for the big shot. And I thought, you know, the film was rough and ready. We shot it on Super 16, but it's it's visually ambitious. You know, and you've got to go. So we're probably going to shoot it just because we love the rain. Yeah. And this shoot has been constant sunshine. Uh, yeah. And I love the idea that every time it comes to the building, so it's pissing down, because okay. that is what it's like, isn't yes, it? Really, it's yeah. always like... Well, okay, so this one, I think, why do you work, everyone hates it, da, 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 da. When he says, alone, yeah, of course. I, I'd love it if he said something like, well, maybe you could try washing, <laughs> you know, and you think you're being funny, you know, because they yeah. stink. You need to have a bath, you absolutely stink. Andrei Jarov was a real revelation. I mean, you know, I, I searched on the web for young Russian actors and this face came up. Uh, raz, dva, tri, raz. Raz, dva, tri, raz, dva, tri, raz, dva, tri, raz, dva, tri. And it was like, that is the guy. You know, he didn't speak a word of English or he said he didn't, I wonder. Um, but, you know, he never needed to say anything to him. He stepped in, he became Spiker and that was it. He's making notes. Spiker, cooking heroin. Um, he says, not in here. So you look like you're stopping. But when he turns his back on you and goes that way, carry on. First time that I met Andre, and he was pretty much mute. We met in a pub and he was pretty much mute and I, I just despaired, I thought, how is this going to work? Because we're not going to be able to talk to each other. He's not going to get the lines out, let alone, you know, let alone, um, you, you know, be able to kind of relate and understand what each other are talking about. But it, it, it was resolved so quickly. But that was the biggest joy of the whole thing for me because, um, you know, we spent so much time together, we really didn't spend time hardly with anybody else the whole time we were shooting. And, uh, you know, we drank a lot of beer and a lot of vodka and, uh, you know, got to know each other really well. And I bought a, um, I bought a phrase book. Yeah, 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 can you speak before? No, no, I can't now. I don't like five words. I thought. Which had it all spelt out phonetically so that I could, uh, so that I could, you know, sort of converse if I needed to find a specific word. 
you know, the, 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 the sort of the patois that we were making up between the two of us was this ridiculous <laughs> language. But, but actually, the most rewarding thing about the whole experience for me was once we started to understand each other's sense of humour after about three weeks. <laughs> once we finally got each other's kind of sense of humour, you know, down, once you, you know, but it was so rewarding because you'd worked so hard to understand it. And, you know, we'd get home and, it, and Andrew would say to me, you want tea? And I'd say, oh no, because only joke anyway, here's one beer. We're around London by, you know, tube, bus, cab, any way we could get to film it, and so why not live out the rest of it as much as we could, you know? Yeah. Just try stealing things from shops and then apologise if we get caught. And that's what, that was one of the things that drew me to the film in the first place, is that, is that London, to me, is almost the protagonist of the film. You know, it's very much it's very much a character as of itself, and it's the character of I think I think of London that affects Spike and Sabaka, and they sort of they're almost they're, the way that their friendship goes and the way that their personalities develop is is a reaction to how London treats them. You want we sleep in a room full of clothes when she fucks? Нет замков, которые большевики не смогли бы захватить, и нет городов, которые не сдались бы этим ублюдкам. Понял? Во-первых, человек, человек, такой образ, человек, который, ну и в частности, Авдыка. Человек, который умеет любить, который любит, поэтому поехал. Сильный человек, но одновременно и слабый, потому что все-таки наркотики сломили. А сильного человека ни один наркотик не сломает. Но в этом и грань, что сильный и слабый постоянно перетягиваются. Ну, как бы это и есть проблема больших городов, когда большой город должен быть, чтобы его сломать, это должен быть мега большой личностью. Под этим подразумевается и институт жизни. Институт жизни, умение все-таки подстраиваться, при этом не сломавшись самого себя, личность свою. Это очень сложно. Это сложно в деревне, это сложно в маленьком городе, это сложно, тем более в Лондоне. И какой бы ты ни был большой личностью, Фильм отчасти об этом. Все равно, все равно есть момент э, слома. Я когда в Москве был, был на некий период перед, от, перед, от, перед отъездом. Э, период некий. Перед отъездом, да. У меня был внутренний вопрос такой, ну, мне хотелось очень чему-то удивиться. Э, вдруг предложение в Лондон, я поехал не раздумывая. И очень сильно удивился прогрессу. Ну, все другое. От, от воды до в глобальном смысле этого. Все так получилось, что ну, очень, ну, больш, по большому счету очень положительно энергетика. Все это заметили. Сьюзи, Сьюзи в творческом плане свободно себя ощущаю. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But Tony, Tony doesn't. Tony doesn't really swear. Tony's a very nice, decent, upstanding criminal. Она любит любит провизацию. Я ее тоже люблю. Yeah, she. He knows that she likes to buy things. Да, она позволяет это делать. Она, я вижу, что ей нравится это, что актеры даже после дубли, когда он закончен, в принципе, что продолжалось некое жизнь что ли. да она очень легкая вот с ней легко потому что ты можешь что-то предложить и она конечно вправе отказаться или нет но вот предложить ты можешь потому что зачастую предложить режиссеру не надо ничего не да потому что это, это все равно это да это все равно совместный все равно совместное творчество режиссера с актером не так не должно так чтобы один над другим все равно не идет совместно тугеды Ук. Пук. Пук, я знаю, что ты здесь. Окей. Пук, я знаю, что ты здесь. Little windows. Ну, конечно, месяц за границей, при, при этом не отдыхая, а работая, с утра до вечера ты слушаешь английский. Давай. Конечно. И сейчас я уже практически все понимаю, что мне говорят. Но при этом я... 
не хватает, не хватает пока запас слов. Но так как э, в этом фильме не было четкой постановки похожести этих персонажей, их не, не было четко. Поэтому в любом случае получится абсолютно разный. Может быть в чем-то похоже, но немножко другие персонажи, потому что режиссер снимает свое кино. Книжка написали парни. А режиссер Сюзи, она снимает свое кино, свое, она по-своему -по видит это. Естественно, поэтому в чем-то, да, будут разные, естественно. Дерьмо, блядь, снабжать наркотики, блядь. Мамбичанам насрать на вас. Потому что, допустим, ну если, если уж такая не интересует такой вопрос, что в чем они похожи, и в чем разница, в чем похожесть. Да, играет там, если актер приглашает играть Пушкина, естественно, он будет читать, он будет смотреть в ему будут грим накладывать, он будет как-то пытаться быть похожим. Но это, это один подход. А есть другой подход, за основу брать просто историю. По-своему, как ты ее видишь, это делать. Это правильно, как режиссер. Я так же бы делал. Well, yeah, you could buy a permit. It would cost anybody uh, uh, £850, but it's not fair idea. Never check authenticity, you know, presumption of innocence and all that. Do you speak English? Do you? Can we have subtitles, please? You either work part of these work or somebody's ways you guess. <laughs> <laughs> was to make that relationship, um, you know, um, fall apart honestly, you know, and to make that part of it believable, and the rest of it would kind of just do itself. Честь я сохранил вот это. Они прослушаны, не так ли? It's for one chocolate. Artas steals all our money. Huh? What do you think about this? Nothing. Well, what do you expect? He's a junkie. At, at the time, I didn't realize how sort of politically appropriate, like, the, the, the film would be. And, you know, even on the news a couple of days ago was um, you know, stories of the sort of, the, the sort of um, degenerate, you know, neo-Nazi attitudes of the youth of Russia going around beating up, you know, tourists and anyone who's kind of foreign and people running for political office who, you know, whose heroes are Stalin and Hitler. But we don't talk about that. Are you from around here? How do you do? I'd like to talk about that. Talk over gin and teacups and leaves on the lawn. Violence of bus stops. It's obviously micro budget and then you want to do something absolutely massive and I and I know we did have this conversation about you know you're changing your clothes in phone boxes and stuff like that on bigger than bed and then yeah. straight to Caspian you're the lead, it's a hundred million dollar film. And there's something about that kind of fast paced almost gorilla kind of filmmaking that is oh, is very very exciting. Come on you bastards, let's cross! <laughs> you know, Caspian took seven months to shoot. And you know, I, I had the most wonderful time, and I got to ride horses and swim swords and do all this fantastic stuff. Horses and swords, or a squat. You only have half the deposit, you see, so your choices are limited. What is smell? What smell? It's real and it's instant and it's and it's there. And what you do is what you do, and um, you know what you get is what you get. I'm really pleased with it. У тебя ни, ни дома, ни денег, ни надежды. Fucking Russians. Вы как зараза во всем мире. Крадете у всех. Он 
Okay. You feel sexiest. <laughs> That's right. A little hot dress. All oh, right. <laughs> the hottest guy in Hollywood is? And Ben was great oh, because know, they got on like a house on fire and Ben learned some of the language and, and, and you know, of course, straight after, right, straight after Bigger Than Ben, he went on to Caspian and, I mean, it is just so surreal. I mean, it was just... Nearly a <laughs> Nearly. Nearly a You know, you hear all these stories about how difficult low-budget films are and, you know, what a struggle it is. And, of course, that's, you know, struggles that have got nothing to do with the film industry. I mean, you know, it's the best fun you're going to have. And the first time I ever worked on a film set, you know, it was this guy went past in his truck and shouted, Get a fucking real job! And, um, you know, I never did. 